Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a code blocks project. Today, friends, we're going to make a picnic table. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So step one is to visit code blocks, and we're going to click create new code block. When this opens up, we're going to choose new design. And then our first step is to call it picnic, P-I-C-N-I-C, -I -I and I'm going to put my initials after it. Friends, we're going to start with what's called a plank because that's what these get built out of. We're going to do create new object. We are going to rename it and let's call it plank. We'll use this piece again and again. So that's why it's going to be so handy in our table and our bench. The shape that we're going to build with is the box. When you bring the box out, open up its parameters, and I want you to type these numbers. 60, 12, 2. We will give it a bevel of 2, press Enter, and we'll leave the edge steps at 10. Let's make it brown so it looks like a picnic table, and if we hit play, you will see our first part. I'm going to zoom in on it. You can see that it's half above, half below. Remember, that's because code blocks draws at zero, zero. I'm gonna simply bring out a modify and I'm gonna raise it up one, which is half of my height, so it sits at zero, zero. This does not change anything, but I like the way it looks better. Next, let's create another new object. Always make sure you bring out a new one of these. Never duplicate and reuse these. We're gonna call this one the top of our table. Click on your data so you can find the plank you made and add your first plank and then we are going to duplicate and add a second plank. Now that we've got our second plank in place, we need to move it. So choose modify and move. Remember it was size 12, so we're gonna move it on Y 13 so that there's a gap in between the two planks. That's a lot like how the top of a picnic table looks. We can duplicate that again. And then this one will be 13 plus 13. So let's see how 26 looks and hit play and check it out. That is exactly how we want the top of our picnic table to look. I am going to make this tabletop a group real quick and then I'm gonna raise the entire tabletop up so it's out of the way. We can do that with a simple move and we are gonna just change Z to 25 high. If we hit play, you can see we've got our original plank and now we've got our tabletop up above. And now that we've got our tabletop, let's build some supports. We're gonna start that by creating a new object. Make sure you drop it below your other objects and we've gotta rename it. I'm gonna name it support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T. I'm gonna tell it okay and I wanna build with the blocks. When you stretch this guy out, I want it to be 45. I need it to be eight and I want it to be two. And this one, we're not gonna bevel. I'm gonna make it a different brown. And if we hit play, you'll be able to see it sitting down there. Notice it is at zero, zero, so we can see half of it below. We're gonna leave it like that for a second. I am going to duplicate that shape and I'm gonna bring it down below. Now I'm gonna go to my rotate command and I wanna rotate these around Z. And I'm gonna duplicate that because I'm gonna do it twice. The first one is gonna be positive 45, which you can drag or type. The second one is also gonna be negative 45. And this one I'm gonna type just so you can see that it works both ways. You can drag it or type it. I'm now gonna connect those together. I've got my wood color. I'm gonna actually do the second wood color because I think that looks a little cooler. And when we hit play, check out the start of our supports. I want these to be cut off flat, so we're gonna do that with another cube. Return to the shapes, find the box, make it a hole. We are gonna leave the width at 20, but we're gonna make the length 60 on this one. And we're gonna make the height three, just so we're sure that it cuts everything off. If you hit play, you'll see that this is right now in the middle. Well, what we're gonna do is cut off these ends so there's a flat place for the ground and a flat place for the bench. We're gonna do that with a modify and a move. We are gonna move along X until we're right to this edge. We're gonna do that with a little guess and check. I'm gonna do negative 15, which is gonna go this way. If we hit play, let's see how that looks. 
I'm not far enough, so I'm going to try negative 30 and hit play. This time I'm going to try negative 20 and hit play. And you can see that's close, so let's try negative 23. And there we have just used guess and check to find the exact spot for slicing that. We are going to duplicate that part. And of course, if one is at negative 23, it makes sense that the other one is at positive 23. We have just created our awesome support. Grab the group button. Now that we've got our awesome support, let's rotate it. Let's check 90 degrees around X and see if that stands up the way we want. No, it doesn't. Let's change it to Y. And when we hit that, boom, that is how our support is supposed to look. We just need to raise it up. Let's find the move command. Let's try 13 on Z and see how close that is. That is a pretty good guess, friends. So my friends, this is where it gets fun. We have got a plank, we have got a top, and I'm gonna put beside it the support. Now we enter assembly mode. Let's create another new object. Notice I've got to create this below the other ones. I'm going to hit rename, and this one's going to be called the table. The table is going to have a copy of the top, which we can grab from the data. The table is also going to have a copy of the support. And we need two of those supports, so we're going to duplicate it. Let's move our top so it fits where it's supposed to with a modify and a move command. Let's just try negative 13. And if we hit play, I think that should line up pretty close. There you can see that is decent. I like that a lot. And now we just need to move our supports. So let's move the first support along X and let's try moving it 25 out. And let's take our second one and move it negative 25. And hit play. This one will disappear when we're done. But you can see that is a nifty picnic table. This one, of course, is the old top. And we'll get rid of that super quick with the delete object. And go back to data. And we're going to delete the top because we won't need it any longer. There is our picnic table. Friends, it's time to make a bench. I'm going to make the bench in between this. So notice I'm pulling the table down. Return to modify, create new object, rename it. And of course, we're going to name it bench. Bench is going to use a plank. So let's add a copy of plank. Remember, those are under data. I'm going to find the move command, and I'm going to raise that plank up. Let's raise it up 12. And if we hit play, you'll see that the height I've chosen, that's a decent place for people to sit. All right, friends, we need to add our supports. And we're going to do that once again with add a copy of an object, move to your data, find that support. When you bring it out, obviously, we need to make it smaller. We're going to do that with a scale command. I have done some practice in here. I do want to keep this X. I'm going to tell you a smart number is 0.3 on Y because it's only got to cover one of the planks. And then Z, we're going to do 0.5. This will land right up here in the middle, so we need to lower it with another move command. I've done a little math here as well. I think the good number is negative 6.5, which is half of the old height. And if we hit play, you can see our little leg is right there underneath. Let's change the X to 22 and hit play, and we'll have a better look at where it is sitting. And you can see that that pokes out just like we'd expect it. We need two of these, so we need to duplicate. Notice I clicked on the support to duplicate it. And if the first one's positive 22, the second one's negative 22. If we hit play, boom, you've got a picnic table with a bench Notice it is in a weird location. Friends, we fix that down on our table. We're going to now, underneath the delete object top, we're going to add a copy of our new bench. We need to move that bench along Y. So let's modify, move, 
Let's see what it looks like if we do a negative 25 and hit play. That's a decent spot for a bench. Friends, we need a second one. And of course, if one is negative 25, the second is positive 25. Friends, now that we've got that built, let's delete our original parts. Friends, once you bring in delete object, let's duplicate that three times. And then we need to go to our data and our original parts that we have to get rid of are the plank, the support, and the original bench before we used it. Alrighty friends, let's hit play and watch the magic happen as we have just created a sweet picnic table. Now the really cool thing about this is you can hit export and you can save it as a part. When you do this, make sure you name it. I'm gonna put picnic table just so I have it all. You could put a description, you can add tags. I do not like to lock the part size and now if I hit save shape, it'll be available in normal Tinkercad for any design I create. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this, and don't forget, if you visit hlmodtech.com, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, lots more code blocks, and other amazing things. Also, friends, don't forget, down at the bottom of the site, there is a messaging button. If you have a question, comment, or just want to say thanks, I am one click away. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.